You can see the view better today. That's the whole strip and that ugly building. This is our hotel. That's the pool. So apparently there are seven pools. This is my outfit. I forgot my slippers. So I'm just gonna wear my sneakers. This top is 100% silk. I think that's the name of the brand. It's like vintage that I got from Beacon Closet. And underneath is my swimsuit. And look at the mess we created. Vacation. <laughs> Level 57. We forgot a lot of things this time. I forgot my bag, my ID, my wallet, my dilators. Look, I have a live dilator right there. My sister forgot swimsuit, so I have to let her borrow it. I think this is hers. Yeah. Give me something, something good. person especially right now too you know being able to feel more secure in your skin being in a pool I love that feeling we're just cleaned up now we're gonna head out for dinner and um, probably walk around going to the stores and stuff I didn't bring my hair dryer the hair dryer in the hotel room is just like not good I'm gonna get dressed I'm gonna be right back this is my dinner outfit I definitely am underpacked so um, I'm just gonna work with what I have I'm so afraid of my skin breaking out again, so I'm not touching my face, but um, I just did some eye makeup, you know, kind of going for that burgundy, kind of tiry look because I am tired already, so might as well make that <laughs> worth it. I'm gonna put on a lip. I'm gonna use this Patrick Tara lip. It's so dry here, I think I might need to go get myself a humidifier. I used to wear this color a lot. And then... Got a dopamine rush, got a major league crush when you're next to me. Got my heart upon my sleeve, can I hide the way I feel when you're next to me, girl?
special about you Get it, girl. <laughs> we just got back from the hotel. It's about to be one o'clock right now, and it's been really fun. We made a lot of new memories that I would treasure forever with my family. Spending time with them really makes me realize how much I miss them. Tomorrow we're driving back. I'm excited to be back home. Just relax. It's less hectic than here. Here it just seems like every moment there's a schedule, and then. We have to make a lot of compromises. I wanted to go see the fountain, but I did not get to see the water show at Delagio. But I did some other things, so you know, 
is when you go in a big group, you have to make more sacrifices and compromise. And I'm getting better at that. Usually, I'm just like, I need to do what I do, and that's it. But this time, I'm like, okay, let's do things that everybody can enjoy, and I don't regret it. It was really, really fun. Let's go into question of the day. Hi from Colorado. Hashtag Ask Vicky. What's one of your favorite holiday memories? At my home, we really go all out when it comes to celebrating Christmas and the holidays and all of that. But the one that really stuck out in my head at the moment is the first time I discovered Santa, and I remember telling my mom about that. They worked a lot before. That was like Christmas Eve. I went to bed. I put up like an old, dirty sock because I didn't have stocking, and I put it near my bed, hoping that Santa would fill up my present Christmas morning. I fell asleep by then already. My parents went home, saw that, and they were so moved that um, my parents they went to the convenience store and bought me color markers and um, sketchbooks. So. Yeah, I remember waking up. I felt like so happy. I remember telling my mom, "Oh my God, look, I, 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 I've been a really good kid, and Santa came." <laughs> I don't know why, but you know, just that memories, something I'll never forget. And yeah, that's. I think at this moment right now, bring fry. It's the one that pop in my head and the one that means the most to me right now. So yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this vlog, and I'll see you tomorrow. A fatal-